All right, let's try and be superstitious right here, right now. I'm gonna record this this time because this is the machine that I played. That little huff and puff action where I got those toolboxes with $200 in and turned it into 1,005. And then you know what happened over at good old Red Hottie. Hopefully we could do that again. We're playing what? 75, oh, 750 bets. I thought it was five dollars, but I must have been doing that. So we'll see what happens. We've got two hundred in there. Let's turn it into a thousand. Here we go. Come on. Get the volume up for you. Since... There we go. Come on, toolboxes. Do it again with your shiny hammer. That's better, right? Hey, there are the toolboxes. There might have been a wolf in there, too. There must have been, I think. Come on, be nice to me. Take some money over to the $100 slots. Piggies. One away, one away. There are the boxes. <laughs> but it's not enough. This game is getting a little uh, to the wayside now that they have that other one with the chainsaw, or the you know, what is it, a buzz saw? That seems to be the one everybody wants to play now. These two are not getting the love. Puff and puff and Eureka Blast right next to it. I'm sure all the Foxwood fans know exactly what I'm talking about in the Pequot Tower High Limit Room. Better than a double up. Come on. Be nice now. Come on. doing this for the superstition of it all. But it'd be nice to get that bonus at least. Make it interesting. There we go. See that? 
ask and he shall receive. All right. Thousand dollars will make it real interesting. Real interesting. Nice. That's like another bonus in itself. That should be another six games, right? Come on, give me hats. More hats, please. Thank you. And a re-trigger, all right. Let's do it, let's do it. Works too. Give me some hats. Ah, uh, only got one gold house. Or one mansion. Hopefully it'll be something good. You really want to see Wolfie up top? Alright, here he is. Double up in my book, guys. You know that. Let's see if it can't happen one more time. All right. You know what we gotta do? We gotta collect that. Of course. And let's go do something else. Superstitious. Now, if I knew it was gonna happen on the first spin, of course, I'd do one spin for 200 bucks at Red Hottie. But I don't know. Let's think about it. Still got this $403 ticket. And it's going in somewhere. We shall see. Be right back. All right, Pinball. That's where we're going. We got the $403.50 ticket. <laughs> From good old Huff and Puff. Wasn't a thousand, but we're going to play $2. Come on. Are you not going to let me play $2? All right. There we go. I was like, seriously? That was weird. Okay. 20 bucks to spin. We've got 20 of them. Now let's see if we can't get some pinball, some double sevens on the line. All nine of them. Here we go. Be nice, Mr. Pinball. Come on. Let's do more than eight dollar wins. Pinball, please. Come on, pinball. Right here. Drama, drama, drama. Seven. Jackpot's being paid. Come 
Come on. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Ah, oh, man. Something going down quick, real quick. Come on! Wow, give me enough for another spin. <laughs> Not even enough for that spin. Come on, let's do it. Let's go to a dollar, ten dollar spin. me going. Twenty dollar spin. Twenty dollar spin. Nothing. I can't even do the ten dollar spin. All right. All in all, guys, that was two hundred bucks. I put that two hundred into a huff and puff, and it didn't poof. I actually made a little money, but just gave it back right here. Let's give it one more little shot, shall we? Gonna throw another hundred, so we'll be in for three. But hopefully, some magic will happen. We'll do $10 spins, just to give us a little more. And hopefully, we'll get it done. And actually, Okay, here we go. Come on, pinball. We need you to win some money and then go up to $20 spins. Seven. pretty good but cheers all thank you so much for watching that action 300 bucks not so bad although could have been better should have won 3,000 that's the way it goes more often than not as I said before but cheers guys thank you so much for this little off the beaten path video not my usual play trying to be superstitious didn't work out but I thank you for your support of these newer old school slots and even those little video slots every once in a while Guess I gotta get used to them as we all do. Cheers all. All right, triple, double, diamond in a dollar version with $30 in there. You know what that means, guys. It's bucks and banter time. Today, Diane Miller's got a question. And Diane would like to know, what's your favorite time to gamble? Early in the morning? or late at night. My personal preference, as you know, is always in the morning. I'm a morning person when it comes to gambling. I like the casino when it's less crowded, quieter, although sometimes they blast the music like they are now and their announcements. But uh, late night gambling usually means, you know, you're partying, drinking, and not making wise decisions either. So morning time is always for me. So I thank you for those bucks and banter questions as always, guys. And if you do have a bucks and banter question, all you have to do is ask it in any video. Just hashtag BB or put bucks and banter, and it might be answered in an upcoming video. 
And it looks like this last spin miracle was anything but. But I thank you all for your love and support of old school slots. More to come real soon.